Hey everyone, it's Ashley with Best Products, and today we are here with Karen and Stevie, who are the mother-daughter duo behind the jewelry line called Stevie Wren. Um, and today they're going to be telling us a little bit more about the brand and um, everything you see here. So why don't you tell us kind of the background about the, the Stevie line? Yeah, Stevie Wren jewelry. Line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I I came from a fine arts background. And she also did design and was in the corporate world. And when I was moving from Chicago to the East Coast, I think she started to get a little homesick and she was really <laughs> worried about me being super far away. And we kind of decided to, you know, try to bring um, our design styles together and create a jewelry line. Um, and it really stemmed from, we were lucky enough to go on a lot of travels abroad and start to source um, a lot of stones and experience different cultures. And, you know, that's kind of what spurred the inspiration for the jewelry line. And uh, I think we were, um, because of the sourcing, we would come back with like interesting things and people would stop us and say, oh, where'd you get that? Or could I get that? Or would you get me one? Or if you travel, would you get me one? Will I get? <laughs> And I called, I was in Chicago, we're based in Chicago and New York and Park City. And um, I called her, I was on the streets of Chicago and I got stopped five times. And I called her on the phone and I said, okay, we're just gonna do it, we're gonna start a business. I thought she was crazy, <laughs> I really did. I was like, and, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. And one of the things that's important um, with our corporate philosophy is mentorship. And so one of the things that we really um, try to show is that um, to mentor women and women should support other women in business. And because of my corporate background, I wanted to teach Stevie um, the corporate side of running a business so that it could be a lifelong tool that she would have in her life and she could build upon it because the the business would eventually end up being hers. So yeah. um, it's uh, been enjoyable to work together because as I have a very strong corporate base and involved in the design world, Stevie had the technology of today. <laughs> and so we kind of blend and in some respects, I'm mentoring her, but she's mentoring me with all of the, yeah. the media that's uh, from the millennial generation. And, um, and with our designs, um, we're trying to bridge that collection because as many people know, daughters and mothers steal from each other often. <laughs> And uh, it got to a point where I would buy something and then just buy two because I knew she was gonna steal it from me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah it does. <laughs> so um, we have three collections. Uh, we have a uh, the Misfit collection, which is a collection that uses uh, uh, gold, uh, metal and we use diamonds that we source from around the world and one of the things that we're introducing in this collection is colored diamonds um, we feel that it's fresh and it's new and it's something that is not often seen in the states yeah and in that collection we also mix the um, natural rose cut diamonds with the brilliant cut oh, diamonds. Oh, which are becoming a lot more popular. A lot more popular. Mm -hmm. um, and you can see it in some of the pieces, especially some of the rings that we've done um, recently. Um, so this, you can sort of see, we have the smoky emerald, but then you see we have those natural rose cut diamonds, but then the brilliant cut diamonds in there. And also in this ring as well, you see the um, brilliant cuts with the r white rose cut. So it's it's something that's really popular and it's coming into play, but we haven't seen a lot of fine gold set jewelry with that sort of aesthetic yet. So it definitely kind of, I think it, it pushes the envelope as far as design goes. Um, so that's been a really fun uh, line to work with and also the Misfit Collection, we try to deal with the mismatch earrings kind of that trying the name comes from yeah okay. sort of kind of being that um yeah out of the box yeah when we were kind of brainstorming names she was the one that actually came up with misfit and i was like gosh that's so good <laughs> and i was so mad i was like what did i come up with that 
come up with that. So um, yeah, she 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 takes the cake on that one for sure. Um, but yeah, it's such a fun collection. I personally love it um, because you know you have these designs that you know you can buy the pair and they're a little mismatched but they're not too much you know so for the conservative gal who doesn't want the super super different yet wearing the completely different types of earrings but wants the little difference in the color diamonds or the color pearl um it it's a nice mix but you know then we get some of our clients who will wear the ear jacket with the dangly with the you know with the bars so it just really depends on the client but it's such a fun collection um in that sense for for that specific reason and and then to go along with that we have our wonders collection well and in the misfit collection um just to mention that the stackable rings can be added uh together or separate with with your wedding rings or mm -hmm. a band that you may have and the stacking is fun um, because you can interplay them both for casual and everyday use yeah. and give them for special occasions. And, uh, and they're customizable. And they're customizable. Yeah. Oh, and it's great if you have children. Yes. So you can diverse them. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we've been getting a lot of um, actually push presents with some of our rings. Oh, very so, cute. What a great idea. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what we've been getting clients, they've been saying, well, we want our husbands and then our newborn and then my own, mm -hmm. the birthstones. Yeah. And so it's it's been a actually really popular for us as far as the ring goes, which is really nice. Yeah. Um, and that's yeah. one of my favorite um, jewelry trends that's going on right now the stacked rings yeah yeah it's very popular and Ashley someone's wondering I know it's early on but do you have a favorite piece on the table <laughs> uh, I do I think we'll probably get to it in a little bit but I'll go ahead and point it out I think it's this opal oh, yeah. sliced necklace right here um, we were discussing earlier how um, opal is actually my birthstone um, and a lot of times it can be really old-fashioned but this is a really cool and modern way that you can you can wear it so. yeah the, that opal is great. Um, and that one's set in 14K gold with the diamonds and then the and rubies. For a lot of people just tuning in, who do we have uh, here today? This is Karen and Stevie, and they are the mother and daughter team behind the jewelry called Stevie Wren. Nice, yes. awesome. Yeah. Um, but so, do you and, want to talk about the wonders? Well, and then just um, back to the Misfit line in general, um, even for the earrings, um, uh, we're able to... Um, say this pair of earring, you can wear the diamond little jackets and then the back. At night, you can just throw on the back. You can yes. throw on the back. Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. kind of yeah, fun exactly. and cool, but yet classy at the same time. So it crossed the barriers of age group. Um, but you can also, if you're into white gold or rose gold, we mix these in different color ways. Yeah. So, We've done them in white gold with blue diamonds. Um, we do them in gold with green diamonds. So if you have a special holiday but just love a certain style, um, it's a great way to introduce color diamonds into your um, jewelry wardrobe. Yeah. Um, and then, so moving on to the Wonders Collection. So just real quick, so yeah. this would be considered like the more fashion forward Line, would you say this fit? Um, I would, you know what? I would say they're all fashion forward in their own sense. It's, I think what's really particular about our, our lines is that we design them together. So there's not one piece that we haven't looked at together and said, okay, would you wear this? Would I wear this? Is this something that I could wear with my dainty stuff? Because I love the dainty mm -hmm. stuff. She does too. Yeah. But and you we're know, into the layering. We want to yeah. teach people how to layer with maybe something that was a keepsake or their children bought them for a birthday or um, your like diamond solitary necklace. And how do we take that? Because I wear that every day. Mm -hmm. And some women think, yeah, I can't else. add anything yeah. with it because I have to wear this because my husband gave it to me and they don't want to take it off. And so we want to show people how to move forward and be updated and still have a sense of style and still keep um, pieces that may be precious to them. And then also within the fashion world, kind of that layering of that little mystique where you might have a collared shirt and you just have that tiny little necklace underneath 
as kind of a peekaboo piece, but then you have that chunkier piece over it to add another dimension. Yeah. But but I would say definitely the misfit is uh, it's it's a dangerous edgy, fire. It's, it's edgier. It's edgier. Okay. It's a no. little edgier just because of the fact that you you can do the mixing and mashing, and it's it's definitely you know it's it's edgier. It's still we still like to think that it's classic in design with that kind of funky yeah. edge towards yeah. it. Um, Modern. Yeah, but and then the wonder sign is kind of our baby in a sense, just because um, you know we hand pick all the stones, we source all the stones ourselves. Um, and a lot of it is made in our studio space. So a lot of the pieces are one of a kind because we're never going to get the same stone twice. That's going to, we can obviously do very similar, but, um, it's, it's really special to us just because, because of the rarity of the stones and, and we like picking out rare stones. We don't want everybody to have the same stones we have. Yeah. So, and also yeah. it involves our travel and resourcing, yeah. going in and out of different places to find that special cut or um, in so many countries around the globe um, are specifically mine different stones and we yeah. have enjoyed part of our passion or and especially my passion has been the resourcing mm -hmm. and just dragging her along with me she, yeah. she's finally <laughs> convinced that she loves it now <laughs> it um, took me a while to <laughs> um, like where are you taking me today <laughs> like, i but, just want to go to brunch yeah, <laughs> yeah right like what, what's the most <laughs> really one, one more she'll be at like Stop, 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 not anymore. But and, yeah. then we'll just find. We'll find and, the, and she'll the go, very last have, place. It's like we'll, we'll find the jackpot. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, how the cut is, um, you know, maybe how the stone was cut and how we haven't seen a cut like that before. And so that's exciting. And also, I think learning from different cultures, different techniques along the way, and then incorporating those because. We mix different methods that we have seen through our travels and try to incorporate those in our pieces. Um, I would say um, these pieces are um, the Wonders Collection is so hand on for us because we'll start making a piece by hand and then we're tearing it apart yeah. because of one little thing we don't like on it. So each piece is a work of art and sometimes even when we sell it, it's like we love that piece. Oh, and yeah. we can't attach. Yeah, and, you and, attach. and we can't we know we can't find that stone again. You know? But we feel so really like, happy for the person who got it because we're like you don't realize like how, how special that piece yeah. is. It sounds mm -hmm. like there's a lot of love that goes into yeah, yeah. piece. Definitely, so. definitely. So yeah. um, maybe Stevie, do you wanna show a couple of the pieces that we've designed for yeah or is there anything that you kind of wanted to point or do you, you want to maybe, explain a little bit more maybe just show us which pieces are part of the wonder collection sure kind of makes yeah sense. Right. so right so like you know what we were saying before is that we love to show how you can mix the dainty or misfit collection with the wonders collection and how it can be so simultaneously um mixed and just be look great so this piece is one that I personally love. Um, so this is really great, and I would pair it even with this little, this opal is one of our misfits. So this is 14K in the rhodium with the blue opal. And then you have the diamond charms on the side, and then you have mixed yellow sapphires and diamonds around that. Um, so, you know, this is funky. Like, this is a much funkier necklace, but it's still part of the Wonders collection. Um, same with this blue one. This is all natural opal with the diamond. This is a part of the Wonders collection as well. And is that one also a choker? Yeah, so this is this is a little bigger than a choker, um, but yeah, it sits like a choker necklace. So it's kind of like that nice, I know I have my big necklace on right now, but <laughs> Um, yeah, this one lays. The other one that I was showing you earlier, um, you asked me about, is another one of my favorites. And I would show this one. Is, one yeah. With me. Now this one, yeah. I've been eyeing. It's very cool. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, let me take off this. This is actually one of my favorites, the one that I, I have. I really love this one. Yeah, I love this one. We're fighting over that. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> I yeah, picked out the lot. stone. Yeah. Okay, so I started with the stone and she still lived. Right? Yeah. Uh, so, so we this love that. This, now, this piece, 
what, what I think is so great, and Stevie can show you, is that it's just a beautiful, elegant stone that can be worn every day, um, black tie to blue jeans and a t-shirt that just has that pure elegance and simplicity in the look. It's a timeless yeah. piece that will never go out of style. It's the stone and the cut of it that makes it special. So, so this stone, like you were saying, you asked mm -hmm. me if this is Labradorite. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not. This is actually a really rare color of aquamarine. Um, I think it's so cool because I've never seen aquamarine like this before. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a much greener palette than the usual aquamarine color. Um, and this is one of those stones that we found and we were like in love with and we tried to get as much as we could and mm -hmm. you know unfortunately there wasn't much to go with and then the same you asked me about this so this is actually all natural sapphires wow. um and so sapphires which a lot of people don't know but sapphires come in many different mm -hmm. hues it's like a rainbow so many <laughs> and and that's a really big misconception about sapphires um is that people always think oh it's just a dark blue but it's not. There are so many sapphires. And then, yeah, this is a great little choker. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, yeah. I love this one. That's so very, I'll, like, day to night. Totally. So I'll wear and this, then and then the, I would, even during the day, I layer. would put this on top of it. Yeah. And, you know, it's... That's really nice. Yeah, it's a look. Like, you... I personally... I, I wear jewelry, obviously, so <laughs> I love the chunkier look of and everything. But, you know, like during the day I would maybe wear this but at mm -hmm. night if I wanted to be just a little like chicer and I would just maybe wear mm -hmm. the um the little choker and put my hair up and put some misfit earrings in so that's kind of a fun um way to pair those and uh, what else oh and so even this with like yeah the deer so also what I was going to say about Sapphire is this piece which is kind of what we did for holiday, just because that's kind of where we are at right now. Mm -hmm. This is sapphires as well. Oh, wow. So this is all sapphires. Um, so you can kind of see like how the set, like they're completely different colors, mm -hmm. but these are still sapphires. Um, and so this is kind of one that we've been working on as well that we think is really pretty for holiday as it's well. Really pretty. So you wear it yeah. with like a cocktail dress. Yeah. Day, right? Done. Yeah, I wore it yesterday with just a t-shirt and like a like a tight little skirt on mm -hmm. and it just, it was really nice and it kind of popped yeah. out of the black. It's that like I a nice wearing. statement piece, but something mm -hmm. you can still have for a long time. Exactly, time. Right. exactly. And if something like that, you probably wouldn't put another piece over with it because no. it stands alone mm -hmm. and the simplicity. But and that's the where design. the fun earrings come in. Is that you know I would wear that with like I think those or, would be super um, fun. The misfit bracelet would be beautiful with the sapphire with no. the different yeah uh, that I've been eyeing. Yeah, this little guy. It's yeah, really unique. So yeah, this is a great bracelet. So in this bracelet, you obviously have the pearl, and then we have the pink diamonds, the blue diamonds, and then the um, these are the champagne diamonds and the green diamonds. Oh wow, those mm -hmm. are green diamonds. Yeah, so those are green diamonds in that so one. So this is like a really rare piece then. It yeah, it's it's definitely, you know, it's it's different. It's um No one else is gonna have this. No, absolutely. <laughs> not. Ashley's gonna I steal it from the table. I, know, <laughs> I, I, try that I will say I've never in our the what we've seen and we've seen so many jewelry lines and obviously we've done our research, but we haven't seen anybody use colored diamonds the way that we've been trying mm -hmm. to kind of push the it's envelope them with them. Awesome. Yeah, no. But also the U.S. market isn't used to them yet. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's what we kind of want to try to push mm -hmm. um, is showing that, or, you explore, know, yeah. People to explore, to have that little different kind of edge to your piece. And, mm -hmm. and the beauty of the colored diamonds, it's amazing. And yeah. um, it just gives a different look to a basic black dress or a simple black jean outfit and you have that little hint of color. yeah that's a great so that's one of my favorite mm -hmm. like my favorite new because it's an every day um and the box chain is gorgeous it and is. it's just all solid that's solid 14k with just the um so little white diamond piece. yeah you never have to take this off yeah yeah wear it sleep in it shower in it like that's you know you you don't really need to take that one off um, that's and, one of my and favorites. And one of the things that we've been talking and discussing mm -hmm. um, with editors about is this transition of the millennial generation to start investing in jewelry and real gold pieces. Mm -hmm. 
And so we feel that um, the misfit line and the things that we carry are price point where people could start investing in some real, real fine jewelry mm -hmm. and not be afraid to have those pieces. They can be passed on through generation. You can wear them out. You can wear them in the shower. You can, you know, you don't have to worry about the finish coming off. So there's real value in fine jewelry. Um, and uh, where my generation, um, we started collecting our uh, gold chains in high school, and you don't see that. It's not as common anymore. So we feel like this collection. Um, is achievable for um, young women and um, where they can have a piece that would last them a long time. And yeah. for all the people taking notes for gifts either for themselves or for someone else, where can you buy your uh, jewelry from? So yeah. you, you can go to our website. Um, that's stevieren.com. Yeah, stevieren.com. Um, everything's available on there. Um, and then we also are featured in some small um, design boutiques. Um, we're in, and we partnered stores. with Gorsuch, um, specifically um, the high-end ski store, and we're doing the diamond stag head with white and black pearls. Um, so that's available, obviously a very specific look, but still super fun for the fall winter season, mm -hmm. especially if you're out and skiing and in the mountains. It's, it's a really like fun and very chic look for and our there. and our website will list other retailers and design stores that carry our brand. Yeah, and then if you wanted to maybe have a piece customized, um, would you go through the website? Mm -hmm. so yeah, the website. so you would go through the website and then just email us directly mm -hmm. um, and say, you know, we're interested in this piece, but you know, we want this color diamonds and maybe this, you know, color gold, and you know, we'll. And depending on the diamonds you want, it might differ in price, but it's easily quotable and. And do you all do you all ship around the U.S. or do you have like perfect niches or someone in California watching and get it, uh, Steve, and deliver to them? Oh yeah, we oh, ship cool. all over. Yeah. So yeah, we just shipped some things to a client in London recently. Oh, so wow. Wow. yeah, so it's pretty nice. Yeah. And then so our third collection um, is the classy yes. collection. Um, we call it. It's kind of that. Just beautiful finish, everyday, very affordable line. Um, the metal is based with uh, a fine sterling silver, and then it is uh, plated with gold. Um, and uh, these pieces we love because they're timeless, they're elegant, um, they're very simple in design, um, but we have some pieces that also have that little edge to um, to just bring it a little forward um, and not be your typical gold chain. And that's going to be these items over here. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. So I think Stevie maybe demonstrate yeah, so, some mm -hmm. of our favorites. So the, also okay. just the price point on these are really nice um, just because they range. Usually they're around that like 150 and then the scarves go up to seven 700. Um, 800 but um, they're really affordable and so the one nice thing about this scarf is that I love this scarf she also loves the scarf um, and it's funny the different I ways that we wear one. it <laughs> um, so this one's, yeah this so is my like word we're weaving scarves. Yeah. 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 I'll just take one of the yeah. silver ones here. <laughs> sure. So Ashley, do you want to try it? Yeah. 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 Let's see. The gold is really the rose really pretty. Gold with um, the black. So like uh, she you can loves show three different Yeah, ways. right. So <laughs> she loves to wear it and just tie so it. I think it's very sexy and chic. Um to just have it very simply hung. Um, whether you're wearing a blouse. Um, with a collar and buttons, um, depending on how your blouse fits, the ability to change it to the length or where your neckline or where you feel comfortable, it will lay with your body style is I think important. And it's one of those uh, simple go-to when you're traveling, you could just carry this one piece. Oh, I think that's yeah. so hard. And I look you can get it's hard. Travel jewelry is hard. 
It looks elegant with a black tie business dress. If you're doing a corporate event and you have a business meeting, it's very simple to put it on. Um, and it's a, just a go-to piece. And then if you are wearing blue jeans and you're running around the city touring or sightseeing, you have a piece of jewelry. So it'll take you yeah. very far. So for me, what I do, I, I love this in the winter time because I'll wear it with all my fur vests and like it really kind of pops like through that sort of look so the way I I wear it I wear it as a scarf as well how she tied it but I love since the chokers are so in I actually put it on as kind of this small don't mind my hair guys <laughs> <laughs> I put it on as this um you know kind of the small little choker mm -hmm. and it I'll completely different it's so I different like and and I I'll wear this even like with a t-shirt like mm -hmm. I like if I'm wearing yeah. just a plain white t-shirt mm -hmm. and like black jeans to go out in easily it's elevates. so yeah it, it really does and and um I love it like this I think it's a really fun way to wear it and it's super fresh but like I said I mm -hmm. still wear it can even yeah put it through right here. yeah and put it kind of through on the side like that. Oh, really nice. So also another another look to kind of do it with. And then if you want another, another Yeah, another way to right. do it. Yeah, the other way you can actually do it. So I just did the bracelet. Oh, so the bracelet is really fun too. Um, and it, it stays on. It, it's not like it falls off because it's so mm -hmm. weaved. It, it, it's that it doesn't really do yeah, too much. Yeah, it's got like some weight. So exactly. Like right. um, another thing a lot of our clients do is they, they'll just wear it like this as well. And they'll just oh, do it nice. as a plain, uh -huh. like, like just hanging scarf. scarf. And they'll even put a small little misfit piece yeah. in the middle. So we, we so would layer fun. this. Um, <laughs> I like that. It is fun. Yeah. And it yes. looks the rose yes, gold so gorgeous with your skin tone. Um, sometimes people are afraid of the rose gold, but in actuality, a lot of cultures, their gold choice color is rose gold because it matches with your skin tone so well. Yeah. So that's yeah. really. But yeah, so this is such a fun line, and and um, you know the scarves are one thing, but you know we also have these other necklaces on here, and and the other thing that people have done with um, the wider scarf is they've used it for headbands so they yeah. wrapped it okay, and so used it wider version right yeah so they've cool. used it as um, like bands across their head you or kinda, just in their hair and have tied it as an accent you can piece. sort of see the differences in these two so you have like the wider mm -hmm. and then you have the little oh, thinner one it. so and it's kind of got that like skinny scarf look too yes mm -hmm. yes um, this is another great one. Now, this is a little more, I would say, maybe millennial. Sort of. <laughs> um, but but love I love it. this just because of the choker aspect. Mm -hmm. um, so this, I think, is a great piece to go out in. Um, and it's super easy. This is super affordable. And it, I think it's so chic for the look of it. Um, it's really fun. And that comes in the different finishes. Yeah. So you can get the, the rhodium, rhodium, the gold. Silver, gold. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I can definitely see wearing this with a cocktail dress for a night out. Yes. Girls night. Nice mm -hmm. v-neck with your, like, pumps on and <laughs> you're out the door. <laughs> 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 it's easy, but, like, very sexy. Too. Yeah, yeah. 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 Should you wear you this? You should try you that wear one this one, yeah. too, though. I think it's great, um, yeah, in a resort kind of area when you just want to be simple and you're going out for some cocktails, it's a great just fun look yeah and um and yeah. then the the uh, the next one that we have we took the the this gold one? tubes no the, oh this and uh, we feel it, like this is yeah, a great this, like yeah, everyday this this necklace one. um especially for the gals that you know maybe their corporate structure is a little more formal formal mm -hmm. and it's just a great layering piece that they could put on go to work um, I think it's great with t-shirts also. We love these pieces because they have a little edge. They're not just a gold chain. Um, they have that contemporary feel in a very classic way. Yeah. And I pair these with my Misfit stuff a lot. Oh, yeah. Misfit stuff. So easy. And it makes it, it you know, it makes it nice because if you, if you love the Misfit stuff and maybe like, you're like, well, I can only get one pair of earrings right now or right. one small mm -hmm. necklace 
it makes you feel better that maybe you can still get the layering look mm -hmm. by not spending a crazy amount right. of money. So those are going to be like solid gold with stone. Yes. And then this is going to be the plated. The, yes. Okay. The, the 925 sterling with plated in 14K mm -hmm. for the colors at least. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So yeah, that, nice. is, that makes it great. So you can kind of invest however you want to. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, like and I, build your yeah. collection yeah. along mm -hmm. the way. So it's fun. And like you know, like we kind of said is we, both of us mix every single collection and a lot of our clients do as well. Um, they find that they're, they like something in every collection. And one of the big things that people, I think, ask me specifically a lot, they say, well, do people of my mom's generation, do they buy the Misfit? Mm -hmm. And they do. We have quite a few yeah. clients that love the Misfit stuff, you know, because I think they're afraid that maybe it's too dainty or it's, it's you know, not statement enough. Um, but we have a lot of clients that ha buy the Misfit collection because they wear it every day or, you know, it's something they'll layer with their other gold necklaces. Right. Um, and one of the things that I love about it is that there's um, a forward trend looking a little edgy, but yet there's a classic form to the style, um, like with the triangles, um, and these are one of my favorites yeah. that I wear all she the time. She wears these all the time. Um, because they're square in shape, but they're black diamonds with the white gold, and so it's just a great everyday. We've done these with purple diamonds and green diamonds, um, and it makes it fun. Uh, the other um... oh, and I think we have time for one more product and okay. a personal thing that I think people have been commenting on is what you said after the edgy but classic is that a bracelet up there the uh, snake one? Oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. so um so yes, this so, this, this, so this is our, <laughs> our classic line this has been one of our most popular um, designs in the classic line um, and it's super fun. It's kind of the collapsible head. And then, here. And then you put it on like this. And we love it because you could layer it with things that you have already. And it sits on your hand. It's nice, um, cause it's one, it, it's stackable. It's, you can wear it every day. You can wear it out. Um, and it comes in the rhodium, the gold, the silver color. So you, there are the three different colors um, that you can choose for that as well. Yeah, I, yeah. I think that's a really great piece for um, day to night. You can wear that with yes. a t-shirt. Yeah, and this okay. is really this is really affordable. It's one eighty five. Oh, so yeah. that's a really good price point. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I I love that bracelet. And we have um, we're actually um, for this uh, new. Season Holiday. coming out. Yeah. Um, we're going to be doing this in a necklace and show. Oh, yeah. wow, that's going to be so really, cool. really yeah. kind of fun. Mm -hmm. I think it will be really on trend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see that. Yeah, it will be fun. So we're um, we really thank you for having us come out and yeah. share our collection. Yeah, and um, we I hope, hope that your viewers. Um, you know, take a chance and get out there, view the collection and, you know, explore what their favorite things are in their jewelry wardrobe and, you know, reach out and try to learn to layer a little bit and add a few pieces to update because yeah. it just will make a difference. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for coming by. Thank and you. Uh, if you guys want to check out the collection at home, um, just head to stevierent.com. Yep. Yep. All right. Thank <laughs> you. Thanks so much. <laughs>